Hi, my name is Carol and I'm making this video to demonstrate my blepharospasm. Um, I've had blepharospasm for nine years and um, one of my worst triggers is light. Um, for that reason I'm sitting in a bright light right now, um, something I wouldn't normally do without sunglasses and a hat on, um, but in order to show you what happens with light, um, this is what I'm doing. Um, if I try and open my eyes wide, the blinking gets a lot worse, the spasming. Um, if I keep my eyes half open and look down, I can prevent the spasming, um, which is what I do an awful lot of the time, but um, I'm really limited in my activities because of my inability to handle light. Um, the worst kind of light is fluorescent light, which of course is everywhere in public buildings. Um, so it keeps me at home a lot. Um, another big trigger for my spasming um, is any kind of irritation on the surface of the eye. So if I put drops in my eye, I get spasms not just of the eyes lids, of the eyelids, but also of um, my upper face, which you probably noticed there. Um, I'll just do the other eye. I'm going to zoom a little closer now so we can see it better. Okay. Okay. Um, after I put drops in, usually the spasming is worse for a minute or so. Um, I also have been diagnosed with laryngeal dystonia um, with a respiratory component to it um, about eight years ago um, through self-help and reading up on the internet I've been able to um, change how I breathe and control it much better. When I was first diagnosed I was gasping almost constantly um, and um, now I can control my breathing much better however I've never been able to get rid of the tension in my throat um, I often feel a tension right in here that makes me feel as if I'm being choked from the inside so that's about it and uh, maybe we'll meet in Toronto soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm back a year later to give a demonstration video of how I have improved my blink cycle, recovering from blepharospasm. I've been retraining my brain and you can see the difference in the same context with the sun going down and shining in my eyes and no protection with hat or sunglasses I have much better control of my eyes no spasming um, in addition I have not had Botox for over a year in last year's video it had only been 10 weeks since I had had Botox injections I am still struggling in some contexts of life but in the indoor setting I am functioning very well Thank you.